Good evening, YouTube. Good by me, Powder Cakes. I'm gonna do another review tonight. Excuse me, tonight we're gonna to be doing a beer from the Amsterdam, Amsterdam Brewery in uh, Toronto, Canada. This is their Bone Shaker IPA, 7.1% ABV. Pretty cool label, pretty cool bottle, standard Amsterdam cap. Over the top hops, they say. Let's see. I don't know. I like them pretty hoppy. Mm. Copper in color, about a half a finger ahead, small to medium bubbles, an off white to tan kind of head, nice carbonation. It is filtered. Is it? There's still quite a bit of stuff floating around in there. Yeah, but you can see through it, so it's probably dry hopped. Okay. And that's what the set of, that's what's floating around there. I don't I don't carry the way. Smells like a hoppy beer. It smells like an IPA actually. Mm. Caramel, coffee, lots and lots of citrus. Like Amarillo, Cascade, uh, Citra, Chinook. Yummy. Yeah, it smells really good. It looks good. Let's give her a taste. By far the best beer, in my opinion, we've had tonight. It's actually really light for what I thought it was going to be, though. But this light is light body. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like flavor profile is fantastic on it. Um, yeah. Anyways, to leave off from where we were on the other, where we were, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think this is their double IPA. Cause I it does, think say they 90, it does say 90 minutes on the back though, that it's been uh... Yeah, so this, yeah, 90 minute boil, citrus and pine aromas, which you're getting. It's really, really nice. Oh no, definitely. And seven different malts. So, anyways, it, it is what it says it is, it's an IPA. Now is it a double IPA or a single IPA? I'm not 100% sure, because I don't know that, but I'm going to say that it I'm thinking that it's their double IPA just because of the IBV, the uh, ABV. Yeah, it's around 7.1. Yeah. But there is a lot of hop profile there. There is a nice malt background to kind of cover it up. But the malt background is kind of light. Yeah, it's it's a very enjoy for somebody who wanted to just uh, who, who's just getting into IPAs. I would actually say this is kind of one that would be a good a good starter. Or maybe it's just I've become that accustomed to IPAs. Yeah, I yeah, it's, I I in my I think it'd be a little too hoppy for a beginner to try it. Uh, just just because you are getting a lot of that, like. Anyways, I'll give me a, you a lot of flavor. I, for me, I'm just saying. For me, I don't find it because I like. Well, I'm used to drinking his, his IPAs and stuff, and they're like. Very good. Very, very good and incredibly hoppy. Oh. Um, anyways, my, what I'm getting from this is some caramel, some crystal, some citrus hops, some pine hops. Um, and it's hoppy enough that when I'm taking a drink of it, the, the, the liquid in my mouth kind of dries up a little bit. So that's why I'm saying I don't think it would be something for... A beginner. Uh, a beginner, yeah. You'd have to go with something like a little more mild, like an English IPA, which is... Like Wells, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's but a very, very nice beer, though, by the way. Can it you? is good. It's yeah. The only complaint I have about it is I find that the mouthfeel is a little too light. That's what I was trying to get at, actually. And you said it a lot better than me. I, I just, I'm but, missing that uh, kick. But you know, it's it, it has what it says it does. It has citrus hops in there, grapefruit. Um, yep. It has the pine, like pine, uh, Simcoe probably hops. Uh, you know, uh, malt profile. You got two rows: some crystal, 
Um, maybe Crystal 1, Crystal 2, Crystal 3. Some Kara Roma, Kara Red. Um, you know, there's, they say on the bottle there's seven different malts in there, and unfortunately, I, I don't think I can pick out seven, but I'm no expert. I just try and do my best at picking them out, but there you have it. It's a very, very drinkable. decent, yeah. drinkable IPA. Um, so, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. It was nice.